Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, my second least favorite day of the week, May 16th, 2017. Well, good morning, hair. Hey, this is great because this morning I've awakened with a hairstyle named after a guy you probably never heard of, but uh, but you should. His name is uh, Charles Otway. Uh, oh, excuse me. See, even I said Thomas Otway. Thomas Otway was actually, uh, for a time, the most popular playwright in London. And um, in fact, uh, I have here an excellent article uh, from The Atlantic in which they discuss the balcony scene in Romeo and Juliet because there is no balcony scene in Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Shakespeare didn't even know what the word balcony was. It didn't appear in print anywhere until 1618, two years after Shakespeare's death. So where did the balcony scene come from? Why do we associate the Romeo and Juliet balcony scene? Well, it's because of Thomas Otway. Uh, when the Puritans shut down the playhouses in 1662, I'm sorry, 1642, uh, and plans weren't opened in London again until 1660, and Shakespeare was still popular, but around 1700 he was eclipsed in popularity by Thomas Otway, and Otway's uh, play, the, the History and Fall of Caius Marius, which is basically where Thomas Otway took Romeo and Juliet, and, and <laughs> he, he just changed the names and produced his own play. And, hey, it was performed, uh, let's see here, somewhere... Mm. Uh, hold on, I got it here. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, it was performed like... If you'll wait with me, if you'll be patient, it's worth it. Uh, let's see. Uh, far more popular was Otway's 1679 play, The History of Fall Casmer, which grafts dialogue, characters, and plot from Roman Juliet onto an ancient Roman military and political struggle drawn from Plutarch. Now, okay, see if this strikes. Oh, Marius, Marius, where for art thou Marius? That's not familiar? That's from Otway's play. Uh, let's see. And for, uh, let's see. For much of the 17th and 18th centuries, audiences wouldn't be shocked to hear Lavinia and Marius speaking words commonly thought of as belonging to Roman and Juliet. Uh, uh, here it is. Caius Marius was produced for 30 times in London between 1701 and 1735. And in those same years, Romeo and Juliet wasn't performed once. Not once. <laughs> so, um, there you go. This time was that way. I have an idea for a play also. Uh, it's about a young Danish prince who, uh, you know, his dad dies and his mom marries his uncle. And yeah, uh, yeah, I got the tragedy of, 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 of Harrison. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, it will be performed. It will be a great hit. So anyway, if you have a Thomas Otway, uh, don't be Thomas Otway. He's not as bad as that Midgley guy we talked about who had put lead in gasoline. But uh, Thomas Otway is pretty bad. Um, so... Uh, that's it for today. Hey, everybody, have a good day. And uh, remember, there is no balcony scene in Romeo and Juliet. Uh, that article came from The Atlantic, by the way. I'm trying to see who wrote it. I always like to give credit where credit is due. But da -da -da. And there is no name here. Well, anyway, it is from The Atlantic, and the title is... And I've lost it. Here it is. Uh, Romeo and Juliet has no balcony from The Atlantic. So, uh, oh, Lois Levine, Lois Levine. All right, have a good day. Bye.